Hello, welcome to the Prevy Learn Interim Reports webinar. This webinar focuses on the reports that are available for the coordinator in Prevy Learn. Prevy Learn Interim Reports include a class report, student report, cluster report, and for a coordinator, a group report. Within class reports, you can look at a summary report, a question level report, standard level reports, and then a report by claim for the ELA and math interim assessments. We'll cover the student reports, cluster reports, group reports as well. An important point to note is that the coordinator has access to the group reports, teachers do not. We'll now move into Prevy Learn and demonstrate each type of report. Once a coordinator logs into Prevy Learn, they'll land on their home screen. From the home screen, a coordinator will click on the Reports tab. On the Reports tab, you'll see a dashboard of five different types of reports available. The interim reports are only available for class, student, cluster, and group reports. We'll start with the class report. I click on the class report card. I then would pick my school. Coordinators often have access to one or many schools. In this case, this coordinator only has access to one school. I'll then pick the teacher I want to view reports for, the class, and then the assessment. We'll start with a grade eight ELA interim assessment. The class report will show the student's overall score and the date they completed the assessment. If I hover over the name, it's gonna show me additional details associated with that test session. From any of the class reports, I can also click, at the, click on the arrow next to the student name. It's going to bring up the student test session where I can review item level data for that individual student session. You can scroll and see every question and the student's responses for that specific assessment. Next, the question report, which shows all of my students for that specific class and then item by item, whether they answer the question correct or incorrect. I can hover over the circle and see additional information, the time spent on the question and whether it's right or wrong. Again, from this report, I could click on the arrow and open up the individual session. The standard tab is going to show the student test results by standard and additional information when you hover. The last report available for class level reports is the claim report, showing score by reading and writing for the ELA assessments. Again, hovering gives me additional data for that specific claim. Math reports look a little bit different for claim and standard. We'll switch and look at a math interim assessment. Here you'll see that the claim reports are different, but we'll start with summary first. Math, again, summary, score, date completed. The question report, it's gonna show me item by item if it was right, wrong, or in this case, partially correct if it's gonna be, if it, when it's yellow. Jason Kenny has an asterisk next to his name, meaning that the teacher scoring for this assessment has yet to be completed. That's also why you'll see gray on the circle color indicating that these two items either have not been attempted, in this case, not marked. Standard report, math standards, and then the name, and Jason Kenny again is gonna to continue to have the asterisk next to his name until the teacher scoring has been completed. Last report is the claim report, showing the four claims on this interim assessment. Going back then, that's the sum, a summary of the class level reports. Next up, we'll show the student report. Under student reports, again, I'll click the school, the teacher I want to look at their student results for, the class, and then the individual student. When I click the individual student, it's gonna bring up a student's test results for this specific class on the first tab. In this case, the class is called training class. It's going to show me all the tests, the scores, and whether uh, and the date that it was completed on. It will show assessments that have been started but not completed in addition to the ones that have been completed. 
I could click on the arrow next to the student or this test session and look at where the student is at as far as completing this exam. The next tab available is the student history tab. This is going to show me if this student was in multiple classes, it's going to show all of the results from Prevy Learn. So if they were in a math and an ELA class, this student history tab is going to show the ELA and math results for this specific student. Next up, we'll show the cluster report. The cluster report is extremely useful at the class level if you want to see how students did on the interim assessments, um, if they've taken multiple interim assessments. In this case, we'll look at ELA grade 8 again. And you'll see in this case, these students, John and Jason, have taken A.1 two times, showing that they received a 39, and then a 91, and then a 97, and a 97. This becomes extremely valuable if they're going to take the A.1, B.1, and C.1 exams. You'll be able to see all of the results for the three interims on this one report. Next up is the group report. The group report allows a coordinator to see data at the school, class, and student level. So we're going to look at our grade 8 ELA interim, A1. Here you'll see I have my one school, and so you can see the overall results by the school. There was multiple schools I had access to. You would see the results at the school level for all the schools I have access to. I can then click on the school name, and it's going to bring up all the classes within that school that have completed the assessment. In this case, there's the only the one class. It's going to show me the average score by class. I can further click on the training class name. It's going to show me the students, and they're correct out of the max score for this specific assessment. If a student has taken this test more than one times, one time, the group reports are always going to show their most recent assessment results. Going back to the reports tab, there's a summary uh, to review. We have the class reports, student report, cluster report, and the group report that are available for the interim assessments. The CAT progression report is not available for interim assessments as interims are fixed form exams. If you have additional questions or would like more information, here are a few resources that are available covering the interim math and ELA assessments. You can also contact Prevy Learn Support if you need additional assistance with the interim reporting functionality that's available for coordinators. Thank you.